Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those days. My dog is being weird. Look at this crazy mud. Look at this dude over here. Dun, dun, dun. What are you doing, Nemo? What are you doing? You making your bed, bro? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come. You making your bed? What are you doing? He knows we're talking about him. Shh, let's ignore him. He's gonna go back to his craziness. What are you doing? What are you doing? Whatever. Forget you, man. Can't, uh... Whatever. Anyway, it's been a crazy night. I've got some free time. The kids are out. The wife is out. And, uh, I want to do a video on character shading. So get ready. We're going to do this. Maybe. This is like my fourth try on this. I'll be honest. I'm in a weird mood. Weird mood. Chickity check. Check one, two, one, two. This is a mic check for the microphone that is now on stereo. 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 We got the ticket, there we go, there we go. We're doing an awesome character shading video here, okay? I love all you guys, you Okay. And broadcast now. So anyway, let me just move the camera over before things get real crazy. Because they will, I tell you. Okay. Hey there, how's it going guys? Welcome. It's a weird lighting situation there. What's going on there? Just got all lit all of a sudden. I don't know why. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Nemo, behave. Um, character shading, part two. Here we go. I'll be right back. Okay, so that wasn't super quick, but have I got some awesome stuff to show you. All right, so what we have here, folks, is some of my favorite, well, I've got lots of favorites from the 90s, from the image days. I've got lots, but here are two artists that I really enjoy. They're masters of their craft. They're masters of their, their skill and technique, and we're going to take a look at it. We're going to analyze it. And see if we can't uh, put it to use, you know, implement it into our creativity. So first off, we have, we're going to look at Del Keon and Pit number one. Look at that cover. That's just ripping awesome. Ripping awesome. So, yeah. See, I can just look at that all day. Look at that. That's just like, whoa, whoa, alien face. All right, so Del Keon drew the hulk for marvel before he came over to image uh did his very own book called pit now let's take a look so he's doing his own inks doing his own pencils um let me see did he i'm pretty sure he inked the cover i don't see anything about a different inker on the cover but i mean those are crisp clean nice beautiful inks right there all right, we come inside here. It's awesome. It's awesome. Um, I don't love Del Keon's human faces as much as I love his like non-human faces. All right, <laughs> but uh, just awesome stuff. 
All right, so let's let's analyze what we got going on here as far as his his shading style goes. Okay, we have a nice cool close up of an arm over here. So let's look at this. We got the top lighting. All right, this bluish colored area that's like your top lighting. We got some under lighting coming up here in the green. All right, and then you got some. I don't know if you'd call that rim light or just like you know kind of on the outer skirts there. Uh, colored with a different color. Now, Joe Chiodo, if I'm saying that right, is the colorist. He's an amazing colorist. Wonderful, wonderful job. He's, I think he colored like all the, like, um, uh, early books for Image. He colored the Wildcats, colored stuff for Mark Silvestri with Cyberforce. He colored this. And I, I know he colored other stuff too. So, I mean, this guy is, is a beast. He's coloring all the, the Image books uh, back in the day. And I'm about to sneeze. I apologize. Where's my mute button? Whoa, that was forceful. All right, so, um, so he's got three types of lighting coming in here. Um, now, similar to Stephen Platt, which we'll get into, he's got only two. He's got the under lighting and the top lighting going on. All right, so he adds a little extra element, but. Guys, let me show you some of the just amazing, um, amazing stuff he's got going on. So here's an awesome face. You got the underlighting, top lighting, excellent inks. Now, boom, check out this bottom panel. That is just flipping awesome. Uh, again, two types of lighting here, the lighting on the top, and then you have the underlighting. I saw this image on a on a skateboard deck. I'm not even a skater, but I wanted to buy that skateboard. This is just a ripping awesome. Look at that. That's just so cool. So anyway, love Del Kion stuff. Uh, huge splash pages, just big, 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 big action. Love it. Check that out. Boom! Look at those muscles, just like brah, ripping all the veins. Dale Keown isn't quite as crazy with the veins as Stephen Platt will be, as we will see. But it's just, oh, look at this stuff all day. All right, so we come over here. Here's another awesome pinup image. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Um, so as far as shading goes, okay, um... I wanted to show you these two artists in particular because they kind of have a little bit of similarities and different inking styles, okay? Both Dale Keown and Stephen Platt do their own inks, all right? Uh, Stephen Platt, his cross-hatching is a lot thinner and Dale Keown's is, is a lot thicker. And um, so you'd really have to kind of dive into it and really look at it, look at it to see all the minute details or and differences but they are uh very similar so that's why i want to look at these guys and two just because i love looking at these books because it's just so stinking fun um i love this look at this shoulder here um focus for me camera come on you can do it focus there you go just look at look at this oh, i love that and just oh, he's super ripped um awesome shoulder deltoid I think right bicep deltoid i think anyway um no it's tricep that's a deltoid okay anywho um yeah so like look at the how he 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 creates form with just with just ease you know and then you have the colors in there too but I, like i just love that shoulder i stink and love that deltoid um okay let me i'm gonna show you a few more awesome images and all the pit books i mean there's at least, like at least two or three images that are just like, they're just ingrained in my head. Like I love them. Uh, so you're going to get, if you look at these books, you're just going to get like all these awesome images. Um, so then it kind of goes into some other stuff in the back here. I don't think there's any two crazy images we could check out, but here's some other aliens. Again, the lighting is the same. You have an under lighting. Um, here you have, you know, lighting on this side, lighting on that side, dark in the middle lighting underneath dark in the middle lighting on top so you know what i'm saying so it kind of always follows the same kind of formula all right so 
when we're talking about character shading and you want to do something like this, it's not, now I say it's, it's simple. Now he's a master of his craft. He's executing it awesomely. Okay. It's, you know, he makes it look easy, but it's not easy. But I'm just saying when you break it down, you're only looking at two kind of uh, lights and then you have the shading in the middle, if that makes sense. I don't want to make it sound like this is like, oh, anybody can do it. This takes years of practice, obviously, but we could break it down and just kind of understand what he's doing and how he's getting these awesome, awesome images. Now, look, you can take a look at Dale Keown here. All right, here's Sam Keith, you know, different art style. But let me show you this guy because it makes me chuckle. Not saying it's bad or anything. I just, I don't love it. But look at Dale Keown. And then here's this other guy's version of Pit. You ready? What? Like, what? What is that? He's, he, he like shrunk. He's now a size like 32. He was like 68 before. I don't know. So he shrunk. Anyway, kind of funny. But you can see a different, different take on the same character. Not quite as, uh, quite as wonderful and amazing as Dale Keown's. But there you have it. So. Not to pick on that poor guy. I don't know who drew that, who did this. I think it tells you in the front. I don't even care. All right, so real quick, shameless plug. If you like 90s comics, this is a pinup for my book that I penciled and inked, uh, Colors by Carbon Graphics, called The Shadow Sentry. It's on Indiegogo right now. It's in demand and currently printing. I should have the books tomorrow. Tomorrow, Lord willing. So we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, so check it out. Links in the description. Check it out. And I was going to say one other thing about this. Uh, oh, yeah. All backers get this stinking fold-out poster. All right? You back it, you get one of these. This is one of the stretch goals we hit. So, yippity doo da, yippity day. Let's check out some more pit. This is number seven. I kind of skipped a lot um, only because there's one image in here that I just absolutely love. And, again, like awesome covers he just like nails it man this is just fantastic so bum 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 opens up they're in like antarctica the arctic you got this and then all of a sudden boom here's this big plane but that's not what i wanted to show you get ready here it comes i don't think you're ready are you ready okay boom look at that i mean it just makes you want to drool I mean, look at it. It's fantastic, amazing, cool. So, again, Dale Keown, he's the man. I love this stuff. Uh, the lighting is the same. You've got the awesome underlighting. Amazing colors, again, by... Oh, Steve Olaf. We got a different colorist, but still very good job. Well done, well done, sir. Um, on the pants, you kind of got that outer light going on. All right. Got the outer light, a little bit of outer light there. Let me zoom in here, but uh, focus, focus. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. So under lighting, top light, and then you got the dark in the middle. Uh, this is more built up with cross hatching rather than uh, thick black like we saw earlier. Uh, here you got a little more thick black, but again, uh, same shading style repeated over and over again but it works. He's, he's doing an amazing job. You can see here, every muscle strand is just inked up. Uh, he's doing it to every muscle strand here, where here you got a big, big one. But look at the face. It's just amazing. Amazing. So, obviously, this is why I chose Pitt and Dale Keown, because he's awesome. He's still inking himself. <laughs> yep, still inking himself. He's doing the story. The script is handled by Brian... Hotton. All right. Um, there's another awesome image. Beautiful face. Look at that. Scrumptious. He's about to bite a burger, maybe. He's just mad. Watch for me. That's what he's saying. All right. So there's another cool image. Let me find it. He's getting beat up. He's getting shredded by these cool dudes. Look at these cool dudes. Aliens. More aliens. Beating pit up. Ooh, he does amazing blood. There's a there's a uh, man. See, I need to rip open another book and show you. He he does blood 
over top of all his amazing shading. But boom, look at that. That's one that I want to show you. Look at that. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. That is just like amazing. Amazing. I love it. So just one of many. You get all these awesome shots in these pit books. I know I sound like I'm trying to sell it to you, but you should go check them out for reals. Um, they're amazing. Dale Kuhn is a master. Uh, still going strong today. His style might have changed a little bit, but mm, maybe not a huge amount. But he's he's amazing and awesome. All right, so I could show you more. Oh, here you go. Here's some blood. Um, this isn't the one I'm thinking of, but look at that. Just tons of blood and all that awesome shading underneath. <laughs> so not as much underlighting here in some areas. You get a little bit, which I love. They make it stand out by the colors. Look at that. They throw some blue on there. Boom, it pops. I love it. All right, so there you go. There's the dude. Don't even know his name, uh, but freaky deaky, cool looking. And uh, two sources of light underneath, on this side, dark in the middle. Are you catching on yet? Are you catching on? All right, some other artwork. Sylvestri, beauty, beautiful. I see two sources of light. Beautiful. Uh, what else we got? Rip Claw. Top Cow Productions. Oh, yeah. What else? What else is going off this time? Oh, pewter statue. Pit pewter. Oh, that's pewter. This is bronze. Whoa, look at that. That's pretty cool. Anyway, all right. So let's go to Stephen Platt because similar but different. Okay, similar but different. So Stephen Platt, he started drawing profit number five here. I uh, hope I'm not boring you guys with this amazing artwork, but look at this. So this book, um, this book takes a cool turn and it's almost like Prophet meets Weapon X. He's in this high tech facility and they're running experiments and tests on him. It's amazing. All right. So uh, creator writer, Robin Li Rob Liefeld, and then you got Stephen Platt doing the inks, doing the pencils. Um, I, it's hard to find his pencils online. Uh, all I see is his inks. So... Uh, anyway, I don't know why I mentioned that, but it all starts out in the pencil phase, right? Um, but look at the veins. There's just tons and tons of veins. Uh, just, you know, a beast, a beast like Dale Keown over the top craziness details everywhere. Every muscle, every sinew just popping out veins all over everything. It's amazing. All right. So, uh, he's got some issues with, uh, with some stuff. I won't get into it. We're just focused on character shading. Uh, I love this. So he's he's here. They have him like hooked up to this VR thing, and then like psh, he's transported to to World War II. He's about to lay down the smack on some Nazis. Look at that. All right. So uh, it's easier to see when you have bigger panels. Um, so like here, here's a here's a cover, kind of like a splash page. You can see it more when there's bigger panels. But under lighting, upper lighting and uh black in between all right just lots of craziness going on he throws like the ink splatter all over everything which gives a cool effect that like there's just details everywhere um let's see look at that oh look at that boom focus 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 for me there you go look at that all right so here we have the lighting coming from underneath and uh, he's just got this dude by the head, and he's just slaughtered all these guys. So now he's in Vietnam. He's he's in virtual reality. He's skipping around. He's in Vietnam, and uh, just look at that. It's amazing. Love it. Um. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> you want to know why I like the '90s? This right here, folks. This right here. Look at that. Where are you gonna find that today? Where are you gonna find it? except with some awesome artists like uh, Rob Willis and uh, and the folks in the comic skate community, baby. That's right. Um, bringing back the awesome to comics. So just super, super cool uh, madness going on. I love it. So what is there to say except you're welcome. No, um, you know what I mean? So you got the under lighting, boom upper lighting he's lighting up the the leg muscle there 
uh, again, just huge, huge muscles, um, hulking characters, like super not realistic, but I, it doesn't matter. It's, it's awesome. It's amazing. It's, it's just like, I love it. Uh, yep. Don't want to look at that. What is that? I don't even know what the heck that is. So boom. So, but here's a good contrast. Like, look, you got this. I don't, you know, well done. It's not bad, but I don't want to look at that. Like what? what is that shadow star like wants to be an indian i don't know prophet that's it boom that's what i want to see baby that's what i want to see this is fantastic this is like yeah that's cool this is fantastic just that little picture like that's that's why i read comics right there that's awesomeness you got underlighting upper lighting splatter everywhere blood just everywhere it just looks fantastic it looks cool uh, doesn't have to be realistic. Doesn't have to be realistic. Uh, that shot there, it's a good one. All right, so let me come up. Oh, oh, what's this? I want to point this out because this is Art the Bear on the back cover here, black and white. Y'all know about that. Boom! So this was, is there a date? This was, let's see, let's see. 1994. Boom! Black and white, 1994. Some art the bear of the old days, baby. Good stuff right there. Oh, and he drew that in 1993. So good stuff. Supreme, uh, another awesome shot. Awesome lighting. Uh, not quite as like simplistic, I'd say. I mean, you kind of get the, you know, you get some different things here, but um, there's a lot going on. So, and then here you have, you know, I guess the lights coming from both sides. You got some rim lighting um so you kind of get the idea here but there's there's just a lot going on um why i like let's come over here i wanted to show you these dale keown and stephen platt is because they always follow the same style all right they keep it simple um they follow the same formula upper lighting lower lighting sometimes you get some rim light but <clears throat> always the dark thick blacks in between focus for me focus Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. So just look at look at the detail, all the veins. It's it's a masterpiece. Now, okay, that hand is probably way too big. But it doesn't even matter. Who cares? Just look at that. It's amazing. And then, you know, you got your kneecap. So he's he's shading each individual part of the, the leg here, the knee, blah blah blah. Very nice, very nice. So I skipped a seven. On issue six, he does the breakdown, someone else finishes. Um, now, again, I've got some issues here with some of this stuff. His faces are kind of weird at times, I'll be honest with you, but we're not here to discuss faces. We're here to discuss uh, shading and stuff. So I've got some issues with his faces every now and then, uh, but you can't compete with his muscles. You know, his, his, his heroes are heroic, bad dudes are bad, women are beautiful he does a good job um so again crazy detail you know every inch of his arm is covered with something it looks amazing over the top craziness boom, boom, boom. so you know you can keep going through here there's let me find the one image i want to share now that's yeah yeah that's rocking boom Double page spread, vertical, boom, jumping out at you. Let me see, get rid of that light there. Boom. So look at those biceps, man. Totally not realistic, but it's it's awesome. So there you have it. Um, I think that's it. Aha. Had some coolness right there. Um, so getting in tight there. I mean, again, follows the same formula, under lighting, upper lighting, all kinds of details and veins in between. So most likely what he's doing is he's inking that and then he's throwing down some uh, some whiteout potentially, like a, a gel pen. I don't know if they even had them back then. But anyway, uh, probably throwing down whiteout and then coming back underneath and throwing in uh, shadows underneath of what he's cutting out there with the whiteout. Possibly, I don't know. But um, I know Dale Keown is doing that with the hair. You can see some like whiteout strokes on the hair. So he inks it all. 
and then uh, comes back in and adds like the highlight to the hair on the back end with some some uh, white out. So this is uh, Crypt. This guy's rad. So I think this book starts off the um, what's it called? The uh, yeah, Metro uh, Sacrifice, Extreme Sacrifice. I showed that on a recent stream. Anywho, there you have it. So two masters of their craft doing some awesome shading uh massive biceps heroic muscles just just nailing it so what i'd like to do is um real quick uh i need an inking pen so i'm gonna do this kind of fast all right just to show you like look if you want to implement this it's not uh it's not gonna take no i wish i had more room here but i already had this thing drawn up so i'm just gonna kind of kind of go with it here uh so now you gotta know how the muscles work here but this is a leg and i'm gonna shade this leg as if i were stinking del keon or stephen platt all right blah 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 this is quick quick stuff um bah, bah, bah. just gonna do a little bit there's his belt gear on the belt boom 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 we're not gonna mess with that okay but we're gonna oh can you see that i hope you can see that uh we're gonna follow the same formula we're gonna make it happen we're gonna make this work as if we were stinking one of these awesome dudes um let me see here let me turn this down Maybe make it a little more visible, maybe. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. So let's go. We're gonna go like this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna add the dark first. Alright. Now I don't know their process necessarily, but we're just gonna do it the Eric Miltowski way, okay? I'm going to I'm uh there should be some underlighting there. I I, I messed that up. But all right, so let's just kind of add the dark. We're gonna we're only doing two two shades here, okay? The underlighting and the upper lighting. Now I I forgot to point out again. I mentioned like the inking style. Uh, Stephen Platt, very thin lines on his cross hatching, very thin. So you got the darks and then like very thin uh, cross hatching underneath. Dale Keown, a little bit thicker. A little more fuller, a um, little more refined in his stroke, you know. Um, and then a little, uh, sometimes you'll get, so, you know, it was more apparent on this cover. So let's kind of look at real quick. So, all right, here you have three, here, three um, sets of lines. You've got straight across, then you have two on the sides coming in, all right? And that's kind of what I'll use when I do the, do my leg, all right? Um, Del Keown usually, I think, just has, like, maybe one or two. Sometimes I'll throw in an additional one, but here you have two sets of lines. Uh, no, maybe three. Three sets of lines crossing each other, and then you kind of have this, this nice pattern with these uh, diamond shapes here, Okay. So anyway, so I'm going to do something similar to that and pretend I am Dale Keown or Stephen Platt, both of them together at the same time. It'll be a magnificent watch. Okay, so I'm going to go, I'm going to do the, on this I'm going to do three sets, okay? Okay, that I'm gonna work a little differently. On the underlighting, I'm gonna do something just a little, little different. This should be all pulled together. I'm gonna pull it all together. Um, adjust my light again. A little bright. Something like that. Okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. sorry. I'll I'll get in close after I mess with this a little bit sorry 
So this is something you can do in your free time. You wanna you wanna mess around with some different forms of shading. That's what you do. Check out some different types and then say, hey, I'm gonna try this, man. I wanna see if I uh, like this in my in my arsenal of shading techniques. Okay. So this is three sets of lines, okay? Now mess around on a piece of paper, grab a piece of paper, try two sets of lines, try three sets of lines. And now again, my, let me try something real quick. I'm gonna do this real fat. And let me bring my other light. Hopefully you can see a little better. So this is, this is what I'm talking about when I say three sets of lines, just so you guys are following me. So I'm gonna go straight up, right? Then I'm gonna come on the side and this is what Steven Platt's doing, okay? This is how he's building up the forms of the muscles. So he's got three sets of lines, okay? One in the middle, one on each side, okay? So, you know, you can do, you can do just one. You can do just one if you want, you could do two. Uh, check it out, see what you like, and see, this is what I'm talking about, that diamond shape, you know? When you get those cross-hatched lines and they start coming together real nice, you get that diamond shape. It's kind of nice. And you can, you know, you're, it's like you're creating like these, these different, um, I don't know. I, I can't think anymore, but you know, you're, you're, you're cool shapes. Looks nice. Mess around with it. Um, I'm fading fast. I apologize. I'm fading. Um, I was all giddy. Now I'm fading. Okay. So what was I doing? Um, okay. So I'm going to go on the bottom here. So on the bottom, I'm not gonna do quite as many, but I'm gonna do thicker, thicker lines, okay? So I'll do two here, because that's coming together. All right, here, pull it in close. Bada boom. I hear my dog outside moaning. Stop barking at me, dog. Why are you bothering me, man? Stop bothering me. Okay, I can throw a little extra in there and throw it. And, and, the divide, the, yeah, there you go. The, the diverging lines. The diverging lines can create like additional um, lines or convergences that will give you like, oh, maybe there's something in the middle of this, like a little, you know what I mean? Like you're creating other, you could be creating other muscles, you could be creating other things here. So this, this lighting will, and these guys don't do, um, Something I typically do, which is this kind of feathering technique when you do these little squiggles. You know what I mean? These guys don't do that. Dale Keown's got some over here. Um, but Stephen Platt will do more of just like this action rather than like the squiggly lines that are all close together. Kind of like this. Uh, what I do. Okay, so, so now I'm going to just throw on some dots and blood stains strokes and just some other stuff and we're gonna look at it and you're gonna tell me what you think be quiet Ruger stop so annoying I've got four kids man I don't need you moaning at me bro leave me alone <sighs> um all right so there you have it folks so boom 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 and then, you know, so I'm trying to make you think about how you want to do your shading. Can you implement this? Or maybe you just admire it and you're like, yes, I agree with you, Eric, Dale Keown, Stephen Platt, we're both beasts. We can agree on that. But I'm not going to use your shading techniques ever, ever in my whole life. And that's fine too, guy bro whatever you say man all right so just a quick example you know coming here doing my own little diddly diddly do focus for me okay so i'm shading each muscle in the leg you got the inner outer and then the middle blah 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 and then you have the knee so this is a quick rendition it's not perfect his looks much better and his muscles are much huger than mine are I don't quite draw my legs like that, but that's that's a massive leg right there. Mine are a little more slim. Mine are slim, Jim, you know what I mean? So anywho, 
But guys, check out some artists. Analyze what they're doing. Look it over. Try and just try to figure out what they're doing. Try and figure out what they're doing. And then try and implement it. Try and produce it on your own. And then say, hey, I like that. I think I could use that. Um, I like these two guys because, again, similar style. You know, following the same formula. Over, They're just duplicating it all throughout the book. You know, little dude, he gets the same treatment. You know what I mean? Use the shadows to, to, you know, make your dude seem awesome and large. Uh, if you want to go crazy with your muscles, do it. Try it out. See, see how you like it. You might enjoy it. Just try it. And, um, you know, if you're just doodling and stuff, it don't matter. And then when you get to draw your own comic, then be like, hey, I'm going to use this over here, but not over here. And you can do whatever the heck you want because it's yours. That's the beauty of artwork. All right. So, guys, this has been another. Uh, oh, look. And it goes to 1994. <laughs> I dig that. Uh, another comic book art stream. Not live. I apologize. Not live. So don't feel bad if you missed it. This is uh, pre-recorded in the evening time because everybody's gone. I've got some peace and quiet. And uh, I just want to check out some cool artwork with you. Boom! Check it out. See, look. I mean, just like massive muscles. Super unrealistic. Rob Liefeld coming in here with some coolness. Danny Mickey on the inks. I dig it. So you got... Uh, the hatching going this way, and then you got some on the sides, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, and then pulled in here, you got another uh, lines going across these lines, making this nice little pattern there. I don't know if you can see that up on his neck. Come on, focus, bro. Focus for me, bro. There it is. So anyway, there you go. Rob Liefeld can't even see this dude's eyes. Sentinel's eyes are gone. But it makes for a nice, cool... Look, chapel over here. Can't even see his eyeballs. All black. I love it. Well, I hope you enjoyed our time, guys. I had fun looking reminiscing with this awesome artwork. Um, this was just pure pleasure for me uh, looking at these, these books. We're going to get into uh, some other stuff. Uh, I'm actually going to draw more, but, you know, I just wanted to look at some old comics. This is Jim Lee. Uh, is he, who's inking this? Mm, don't know. But uh, here's Jim Lee. He goes, you know, he he does different things, but at times you can see him, you know, under lighting, upper lighting, kind of implementing the uh, same kind of style here and there. Jim Lee will do a lot of lighting on the sides. Like usually you'll get, you know, the, like a, I guess you can call it a rim light. I don't know if that's a, the exact term, but you know, the lights coming in from the, the side and the top, and then you have the, the lighting in the middle, and then he's, you know, building it up in between. So he he has a style, okay? And we could break that down, and but, you know, you usually got upper and lower and then something in between. So, you know, if you, if you really study Jim's work, you can break it down and see, like, okay, yeah, this is what he'll normally do, and then he's got some other funky things he could do and that cool death blow black black frank miller style he does that too so it's all good it's all fun and uh, we could look at it and we could see how we want to do our character shading all right it's been a blast guys you have a great night until next time this is eric notowski saying peace peace all right let me end this junk <laughs>